What is up, Watch Fam? Happy Monday, and welcome to this week's Rant TNH. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today we're gonna to be talking about President Obama's new Rolex Cellini. All right, before we jump in, a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing a phenomenal, undervalued uh, watch, uh, an Admar Piguet uh, Royal Oak reference, um, 14790. Uh, beautiful, beautiful watch. I love wearing it. Uh, in short, uh, what I love so much about wearing it is since the design is so industrial and it's so aggressive, um, you would expect so much more heft to it. Um, but it's actually kind of like, it's not an optical illusion, but it... it, it it kind of defies your senses a little bit uh, because it's quite a light and ultra thin watch. Uh, it looks more aggressive and masculine than a Rolex, but it's significantly less imposing than one. Uh, so I think that's an amazing, you know, thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's an amazing thing. So props to the Royal Oak. Uh, it's a pleasure to wear. So today I, I want to jump into uh, something I saw on the news first, and then I saw it on Hardenki, and then I saw it everywhere on the watch world. President uh, Barack Obama uh, was recently spotted, spotted uh, uh, with Prince Harry uh, in Toronto at the Invictus Games, and he was wearing, you know, a really phenomenal watch. Uh, it, was, it was a Rolex Cellini uh, in white gold, uh, a white dial, beautiful, you know, exotic leather strap, a truly, you know, tasteful watch. And, I, and I'm super impressed that he wore it. I'd be impressed that anyone would wear that watch uh, because it's definitely under the radar. It's not what you think when you say Rolex. You know, it probably reminds the layperson uh, more of a Patek Philippe, you know, than it does, you know, a Rolex. Uh, so I like the fact that it's a watch that's kind of against the grain. But that even shows me a little bit more so, or gives me a little bit more reason to speculate uh, that Barry probably, you know, likes watches, you know. This isn't just like a date just he threw on, you know. And once again, people who love watches can wear date just as well, but it just so happens to be, you know, a watch like the Submariner uh, or, or like, you know, plenty of watches out there that you can kind of just, you know, put on and you know it's a good watch and it's your Rolex and, you know, it's a Rolex. It's a Rolex sub, come on. But because it's a little bit more obscure and off the beaten path, because it is in so many ways um, an oddly underappreciated watch, like I said, it gives me a little bit of reason to believe, you know, President Obama didn't just like, you know, pick it out you know, and just throw it on. I kind of think that some thought went into it and he likes watches. Uh, maybe that's just me being optimistic. Maybe that's just me being the watch geek, connecting lines that necessarily, you know, aren't there. But I, but I don't think it's totally unfair. Now, whether or not President Obama is a watch geek, you know, my next point here, my next, you know, kind of opinion is, is really totally independent. Uh, and it's this. This is a $15,000 white gold Rolex. You know, whether it's obscure or not, it doesn't matter. It's a $15,000 white gold Rolex. It's an expensive, luxurious watch. And I have a hard time believing President Obama went from wearing, you know, like really humble quartz tags and George Gray chronographs, you know, real kind of, uh, you know, I don't want to middle of the line, but very underwhelming kind of stuff. I think, and it's not unfounded because there is precedent set by Bill Clinton uh, and his Timex, that President Obama probably was stopped by someone else or by himself in his own judgment uh, from from wearing the watches uh, that he's wanted to wear for the past eight years. He could have gotten into watches for three years of his presidency, but I, I just doubt that that passion was sparked over the course of the last year. I just doubt that that passion was sparked over the course of the last year. And if I am right, then that just means that, you know, President Obama may have had or wanted to buy, um, you know, Rolexes or whatever, white gold Cellinis, you know, for instance, uh, and didn't because of, you know, the public eye. And I get that. I, I if I was his strategy or campaign strategist or I was his stylist, his strategic stylist, I very well might recommend the same thing. So I'm not criticizing President Obama by any means, but I think that this is just so shitty. What a shitty reality, you know? And this is coming from someone who, like, I love marketing. I love image. So I am all about, you know, understanding that what you wear and, and how you present yourself does matter if you're looking for something from, from people. I get that. But... You know, and it's maybe just me being, you know, idealistic. Uh, I just think that it's just when your job is to try to relate to people, you know, when your job is to try to come off as honest and and forthcoming and this is me like I'm leveling with you and I'm gonna be your leader uh, but in order for you to trust me I have to be honest with you about who I am I just feel like it's it's so disingenuous to wear an everyman watch if we saw Donald Trump tomorrow in Timberlands and, and jeans and a and a dirty white shirt you know uh, and a G-Shock in a coal mining town we'd be like come on you know really you know pander much jerk off you know so and, and so that principle kind of remains and, and I'm so not not getting political by any means. Uh, it's it, 
to me, it's just a matter uh, of that I kind of think it insults the intelligence of people when you, you know, kneel down to talk to them, you know, and that's kind of, to me, uh, an equivalent. Wearing a bullshit entry-level watch when we both know you really want to wear that white gold Cellini it is a form of deception. I don't want to blow this out of proportion. I don't want to make this a bigger deal than it is, but I do think that it's notable uh, because I'd like to think at least that if I were in a position, not for president, but just trying to, trying to you know, level with somebody, I'm, I'm going to give the most honest representation of myself. I probably will wear an AP you know, because uh, it's one of the things I like to wear. But I'm not going to pretend two things. You know, one, that this is my watch, that I make so much money that I can afford to just buy an AP. I'm also not going to come off as someone, you know, who doesn't like to wear expensive sh You know, I'm not going to wear a, a, a $50 swatch and try to like, you know, be one of the people, quote unquote. Um, I think that the people deserve more than that. I just, I just think that it's, you know, in short, disingenuous. But anyway, bottom line is, uh, President Obama has a wonderful taste in watches, at least so far. I really look forward to see what he brings next to the table. I always kind of had a feeling that he was a closeted watch geek, um, and I'm, I'm glad that there is evidence now that, uh, that it's true. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rant Teenage. If you respected my opinion, agree or disagree, please give us a thumbs up, because it means a lot to this channel, this video, and this company. Uh, truthfully, I will see you all tomorrow on In The Metal.